Hey guys, Kenny here, Kids Small Engines. This video, like I said, it's not going to be about uh, small engines. It's actually about flowers. It's about uh, chrysanthemums, or it's called mums. Um, I always plant them in the fall. Last year, I planted them, and I didn't want to have to worry about buying them again the following year. So I tried something new, and I'll let you know how I made out. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Kenny here Ken Small Engines. Not really a video about small engines, but a video about mums. Everyone looked at my Poulon video last year and they loved my mums. Well, this is the first year that I've had success propagating mums for free for a second year. Now these five mums, I have a yellow, a crimson, a white, another yellow, and another crimson red. And these five were bought last year from a, a Lowe's, uh, or a Costco, I think it was. My mother got them for me. And if, as you can see, they're, they're a good size mum. And they're actually a slightly bigger than they were last year. Um, but these were basically, I think it was $15 a piece. So $75 for five good size mums. What I did this year is something different. Normally, I was told you cut the dead stuff off and then they should come back the next year. But what I found is when I cut the dead stuff off, because I've been doing that for years with mums and they never seem to come back. This past winter, I did not cut them at all. I let the dead wood or branches, whatever, just sit there. I mean, it didn't look bad. It was it looks like dead plants and let them winter over, over the winter season and spring. And when spring came, I saw all the new growth underneath. So what I did, I cut off the old dead growth and let the new growth come up. And as you can see, guys, I've got some wicked, big, huge mums, and it cost me a total of zero. So if you're going, to, this is New England now, where it gets you know minus zero in the winter and it gets over 100 in the summer. And these things, I got them last September. It was actually um, almost a year ago exactly when I planted them. Um, so. You know, if you want to plant mums and have them come back for free for the next year, at least in New England here, don't cut the old plant out. My problem was when I would cut the old plant out, the squirrels, because they're bulbs, the squirrels would go underneath saying, mmm, food, and they would dig up all the bulbs. So I would have nothing for the next year. When the plant is attached to them and you have this looking like this, but dead branches, the size of them, the squirrels can't get in there. They won't dig it up. So don't cut them off, leave them, let them flower. Then, and here's another tip, when the flowers turn brown, like when these turn brown, snip off the old flowers and let the new buds bloom. And you'll get two or three blooms out of these things up until the first frost. So right now it's the middle to end of September. These things will be blooming probably into November. So, and what I'll do, like I said, once they turn brown, I will cut them down, cut the flowers off and let the new buds come up because there's always tons, there's millions of buds on these things. So just a tip guys, mums, they're perennials. If you treat them right, they will come up the next year. And I'm looking forward to having these things bloom in the next week or so. I mean, the yellows are out, the reds are just starting. You can see some of the red on there. It's just starting. So I have a crimson red, yellow, this is a white one another red and yellow, but it is going to look fantastic. And I tell you, in the fall and even in Halloween, people comment, ooh, what a beautiful set of mums you got there. Just a tip for you guys, all right? Don't cut them down. And uh, and I didn't even feed them. I didn't give them any miracle Grow or anything. I just made sure they were watered when it was hot out. And uh, look, they're beautiful. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, good luck with your mums. We'll talk to you soon.